Okay, welcome to my channel. This is Skeleton Key Tarot. This is a reading for Taurus, all Taurus placements. If this reading resonates, of course, comment, leave a like, subscribe, exchanging energy. It helps because then your energy will come into future readings. Especially since my channel is still quite small. Maybe an opportunity to get in on the ground floor. Maybe you have an opportunity. Yeah, success. Okay, let's begin. Because I'm already beginning to download a message. You have the opportunity to get in on the ground floor of something. Six, six of pentacles, seven of pentacles. This is procedural. This is a part of the process, the process of manifestation, I heard. Something life-changing as far as your career. Okay, yeah, okay, look at this. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Maybe I should move these over. I'm still figuring out my setup, my situation. I feel like everything I'm saying right now relates to the reading somehow. Like, you're still setting up your situation as well. A lot of pentacles here. Yes. Okay. Big changes coming for you. Bottom of the deck. Seven of pentacles. Or rather, six of wands. Sorry. Seven of pentacles. It's only a matter of time. The six of wands is related to that seven of pentacles. And then the strength card. So there's Leo energy, of course. Okay. Six of wands is Jupiter in Leo. Okay. Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter. Strength card is Leo. All right. So you have a decision to make. You have a brand new opportunity with this Ace of Pentacles that could potentially be a life-changing offer coming towards you. Something that you will be very successful Okay, something being given to you, something offered to you. You are assessing this new situation. You are assessing this opportunity. You're being very logical about this, being very analytical. And I think, you know, this has the potential to make you very happy with the Nine of Cups being here. But you're somewhat guarded because you're anxious about this big change. Okay, you're holding back some of your energy because you're tired. Maybe you already have a job or some kind of situation in your life that takes a lot of energy from you. But this is also the moon in Sagittarius, which is the strength of the subconscious drive towards victory. I don't think it always means that, but I think in this case... There is that ability to dig deep down within yourself and find the strength to keep going because you've already fought so many battles. You've already had to prove yourself so many times. This is the wounded warrior who is still standing after having fought so many battles and proven himself so many times. He proved his strength that he can still stand upright. I mean, he's he's holding on to this wand. He's, you know, he can barely keep himself there and look you've got these two people in the five of pentacles you know the people who are left out in the cold the people who are outsiders the people who are worried and anxious and feeling insecure about their position they're feeling weak you know their bandages around the head in both of these pictures so this is what is about to change these uh -huh. i see this person who's very happy alone by themselves they have everything they need emotionally but something's missing because it's not the ten of pen um it's not the ten of cups the nine of cups is feeling satisfied within oneself but what's missing is what you can see in the ten of cups if you're familiar with it it's the happy family it's somebody to share it with somebody to share this emotional satisfaction with will give you that total satisfaction but you're not there yet nine nine six six 
Okay, five, six, seven. Okay, there's this idea of sequence, things going one step at a time, having to be done in order. You've gotta you've gotta crawl before you can walk, you've gotta walk before you can run. And so wherever you're at in the development, maybe it's just that you've got the seed, you've planted the seed. Maybe you've planted seeds in the past and they grew only to a certain point and maybe there's always this risk that it's not going to work out. But if you plant the seeds and then you harvest the fruit and then you've got, you eat the fruit, right? And inside the fruit is another seed, like in an apple, you, you split it open there's a seed inside that you can grow another apple tree. That's the Ace of Pentacles, right? So if you can have patience, you're assessing this situation, you're, you're feeding it, you're growing it. Eventually, after that harvest, there will be new seeds to plant again. So this victory over here, yeah, with the Seven of Wands underneath, and then the strength with the Three of Wands, so you have the strength to move forward. You are moving forward with your plans, with this willpower, this drive, this inner focus, this inner drive, this inner strength, the strength of your willpower, okay, to harness that. She's harnessing the power of the lion, that fire that is directed towards that goal. It's not just you know, a flash in the pan, and it's not just a light in the dark. It's all of those things, but it's steady, and it's controlled, and it's stable, so it gives off heat over time. And yeah, there's something here about standing your ground, defending yourself, and standing up for who you are and what you truly believe in, going for it, and being recognized for your hard work, for, for all of the effort that you've put into it, being recognized for the strength of your character. Oh, that's, that's too many. Oh boy, all these cards just flew out. Yeah, so we've got the Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Cups here again. So this is assessing the past, perhaps looking at what may or may not have worked before when maybe there were things that you needed to do in the past or that you had to do or that you've done. Investments you've made in the past that may or may not have totally worked out for you and now you have this new opportunity that you're looking at that has the potential to be very successful again okay so these cards wanted to come out you saw I shuffled them back in because so many came out I wasn't sure what to take <clears throat> now my throat's getting scratchy all right, so these wanted to come out to clarify. So this is reiterating the idea that you have to be patient, you have to wait, and you're looking back on the past. There's some nostalgia. You're thinking, what went wrong? What did I learn? What went right? What can I take with me? What do I need to leave behind? You may also be thinking about children or your own childhood, something like that. Now we've got three sixes on the board. And yeah, the seven of pentacles has repeated itself. So, okay, the idea that failure is inevitable is false. First of all, failure is not inevitable. There's every reason to believe success is totally possible. And I'm remembering that, you know, if you believe that you cannot do something, then the, then that's true. But if you believe that you can do that thing, then that's true too. So that's what this card is talking about. You've already put in some work into a situation. And you're at a point where you have to stand back and look at what you've done. And you can think to yourself, oh, this will never work. And you'll be right. But if you spend that same amount of time thinking to yourself, oh, this is totally going to work and here's how. And then you put that energy into it and you continue to invest and nurture, then you're correct in that case too. You're absolutely right either way. So there's a decision to make and there's a mindset involved here. And there could be something about the past, like the way you used to approach things, the way you've approached things in the past just... Maybe that's not going to work this time. Yeah, four of pentacles. 
you know, holding on very tight and holding back because you're afraid. You're afraid of letting go. You're afraid of what could go wrong. You're afraid of what went wrong in the past. Holding on to a past situation, even though you've got a new thing coming towards you that could be really good, okay? Six of Wands again, and then the Page of Swords and the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. The Page of Swords wanted to come out, Six of Pentacles again, and then Two of Wands. So there's something that you need to do some research on. There's some information coming in for you. There's something to learn or something you've recently learned. Um, also, there the other way that you could take this Four of Pentacles, Six of Wands, maybe it's okay to be conservative with your money right now in the sense that you're not spending it. Maybe spending it in the past was a problem. Maybe deciding to hold back and be resourceful, being very wise. with If you have very limited resources, maybe it's a good idea to, yeah, not to spend those things. That Don't spend money that you don't have. And maybe that's an important message for your victory here. Maybe that investment into this with a little more foresight, a little more information, because we have the Queen of Swords here. Like I said, she's very intelligent. She's very strategic, calculating, logical. And if you have a new situation that could be very good for you and you need to be very strategic, maybe it is important for you to do some more research. Maybe it is important for you to look into certain things, certain people. Maybe it is important for you to hold back until you gain the upper hand in a situation. But I see success here twice. I see victory twice. I also see you waiting. I see that it's a matter of time twice. Okay, so that's important synchronicity here. There's, what, 72 or 78 cards in the deck? I can never remember. It's like 72 cards in the deck. I'm going to have to look that one up. Put it in the comment section if you remember better than I do. You'd think I should know by now. I've been doing this for long enough. But you get the point I'm trying to make, okay? I promise you I will look it up after I do this reading. And maybe I'll put it in the comments down below myself. I'm just trying to say there are like 72 or 78 cards in the deck. So to have the same cards showing themselves twice in both decks, the message becomes reiterated and it it's obvious what spirit is trying to tell us. Success and victory are only a matter of time. We can look back on the past, but we probably shouldn't hold on to it too tightly. Yes, we should be very smart with our resources, but we don't wanna hold on to things that are no longer aligned with us. We wanna let go of things that are holding us back so that we can be propelled towards the future. There may also be somebody who's watching you you may be watching somebody, but somebody, it looks like somebody's watching you. Somebody's recognizing, because this is the card for recognition of your success. So there's somebody around you who could be a very intelligent air sign female. Doesn't have to be. Just that's the energy that they're giving off, that they are watching you, that they recognize you for your success. This could be on social media. This could be at work, this is a very pentacles oriented reading. So it, it's got a lot to do with work and creativity and finances. Okay, so the two of wands being here on the split with the six of pentacles. I'm going to cough. I swear my throat is just, <coughs> I'm so sorry. Um, As soon as I started to do your reading, it's like my throat chakra is itching. Anyway, the two of wands encourages us to use creative visualization to manifest this financial economic success. So what does that mean? It means you have a new opportunity and you have a decision to make. You're sort of at a crossroads. What am I going to do with this new opportunity? 
Well, it's important for you to visualize your ultimate success. That's what the Seven of Pentacles wants to tell us, especially when the Two of Wands come out with the Justice underneath and the Three of Swords. So this is rectifying past karma. This is bringing balance to a situation that has been unbalanced because Libra is Justice and then the Three of Swords is Saturn in Libra. So it means that there were problems in relationships with the Ace of Swords here. So yeah, some kind of a truth was revealed. There was some information that came out, something that you learned. This is the truth. It pierced your heart, disturbed your peace of mind. And now this new successful beginning is your karma. But there's work that you need to do. So it's good karma for you. Things are changing in your favor with the Jupiter here, with the Wheel of Fortune. So whatever this is that's that's got you worried or guarded it's about to change for the better for you and there's this idea of balance and harmony balance will be restored okay let's get a couple of these cards to see what the thoth deck wants to tell us today don't hold yourself back from this victory if there's more information that you need, then of course, doing research to learn what it is, how to do one step at a time. Maybe going slow is a good thing. Maybe being uh, acting with integrity when it comes to your money. Um, holding on to the resources that you have, but also spending them wisely. So it's not like you're not using your resources at all. It's just that you're using them only for things that are absolutely necessary for the success of your adventure, your business, your home, your whatever. Yeah, visualize your inevitable success because that's what you should be doing with your time. Okay, let's just choose Wheel of Fortune again. Things are going in your favor. Things are turning in your favor. This is a very positive omen. Um, things turning around and you're going to be coming out on top. That's what this card always means to me. It's Jupiter. Two of Swords. Again, restoring that peace. That's Moon and Libra. Restoring your peace of mind. And then, okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Aeon and we have the Devil. The Aeon is like Judgment. So it's the new Aeon, it's the new age, the new age of Aquarius, the new age of Horus. So this is a new paradigm. This is a brand new chapter in your life. It's like being reborn. It's like following a higher calling, okay? So balance is going to be restored in your life. Peace of mind will be restored in your life after a, sense, a period of hardship. Okay, the devil is here. This is about creative self-mastery this is about blind creativity right just going for it just putting all of your energy into this new thing without holding back at all so the strength card being here is and with the four of pentacles okay so it's like you're not holding back unless you're holding yourself um how am i supposed to say this you're holding yourself to account it's like directing your willpower but more so it's like indulging in the will to live in the joy of life in the creative power of manifestation it's like streamlining it it's like riding the tiger you know ride the tiger i feel like this should be the name of your reading ride the tiger <laughs> oh boy so um indulging yourself in that strong passionate creative willpower that drive to get things done where you dig deep down within yourself and you find the strength to keep going and you push through and you climb the mountain and you get to the top you know like in rocky like i'm seeing rocky now where he like climbs the stairs and it's like eye of the tiger it's the eye of the tiger. It's the will of the fight rising up to the challenge of our rivals. Yes, that's what this is about. We are the eye of the tiger here, okay? It's also that Ronnie James Dio song, which is like, ride the tiger. You can see his stripes 
but you know he's clean or something like that. I don't, can't you see what I mean? I, that's what the lyrics of the song are and I don't really know that song. I just know the Rocky song. <laughs> anyway, I don't know who that's for. Maybe if it resonates, but there's a message in there for you. Maybe get like, put on some, some music, whatever it is that you like that gets you really pumped up. Oh, that's what this is saying. Okay, so you know when you put on a song and it's like, it just gets you so pumped and you're just like, yeah, and you're like strutting down the street and you got your headphones on and you're like that Lizzo song. Okay, <sighs> there's a disco revival going on right now. I don't know if you know this, but I love disco sort of. Like I love all sorts of different kinds of music, but lately like... This disco revival is hitting me. Okay, so there's this new Lizzo song. I really wish I could remember what it's called. Oh, man. Oh, it's going to kill me. But it's like a disco song. And you put that on and you're just strutting. You're just like, yes, bitch, I can do this. I'm walking down the street, okay? And I am just feeling myself. And I'm so powerful. I can feel my own life force energy just like pumping through my veins and this song just gets me going so it's like that put on songs like that because it's time for you to win it's time for you to have that winner's mentality don't let anybody demonize you with this devil being here that's what not that's not what this devil card is about in this deck can you see this yeah let me move things over just a little bit i'm still like I'm looking through the camera right now. I'm still trying to figure out my setup. Sometimes it looks pretty good. Sometimes I'm not so sure. But um, I just want you to see like all of these cards that I have here because here's the judgment and here's the devil. Are you seeing that over there? Okay, whatever, you can see it. So it's like, hmm, don't let anybody demonize you for taking your personal power and applying it as strongly as you can in the most stable, secure. Yeah, the four of pentacles in the Thoth deck is power. Like sun and Capricorn, which is the devil is Capricorn. Ambitious, creative, masterful, ESP, precognition, a deep understanding of material reality and how material reality is a manifestation of spirit. We don't, like... We don't demonize the earth anymore like they used to in the Middle Ages, okay? Back in the Dark Ages, people used to think the earth was evil. They used to think life was evil and that you had to get through this life to get to the afterlife, which was heaven, and, the, and like the afterlife would be better, but life itself was evil. And I mean, who can blame them because it is kind of hell sometimes, but it's about the um, green is the new black, okay? And not that I, I mean, I wear black all day, every day, so... What am I trying to say? Saturn is not evil. Saturn comes in to teach you lessons for your own good, for your the best and highest good of all involved. And it might hurt, but that pain is not evil. That pain is teaching you. And you can turn that pain into power. So you're going to turn your pain into power. You're going to put on the music that makes you feel powerful, that you can walk down the street. You can drive to work in your car with that music up. And you are pumping it and you are pumping yourself up and getting yourself pumped and visualizing your ultimate success because it is a new dawn new day and you are feeling good baby yes i love this reading what is that lizzo song i'm coming out tonight i'm coming out tonight you know the one i'm coming out tonight i'm coming out tonight i love that song Anyway, maybe that's not for everybody because I love a whole wide range of songs. Like sometimes I'll listen to death metal. Sometimes I listen to disco or French disco. Sometimes I'm listening to like songs from the 70s, 80s, 90s, whatever. I, I really do have a very large discography and a large library of different music. But right now, that song is coming out so strong. And songs like Eye of the Tiger and anything that... But whatever it is that you personally listen to that gets you going. If it's metal, if it's rock music, if it's uh, hip-hop, if it's rap, if it's R&B. Whatever it is that... But like something that you can just like turn it way up and it's like, yeah, pumping, you know. Get pumped because this is your time. You gotta seize this opportunity. Victory is yours, but you're gonna have to put in that work, that effort, that powerful, that strength, that 
willpower. Okay, let me get a couple Lenormand cards. The first card that came out, it says the child, which is also the ace of swords. So there's a truth here. There's communication. There's a new idea, um, a new understanding. There's clarity coming through for you, just like it was coming through before. You're going to get clarity on this. Your karma, your good karma is to get very, very clear on what you're doing here, how it's going to be, and how you're the boss. I'm surprised the emperor didn't show up, but the devil is here. He's kind of a boss too. And strength is here. I mean, Leo is the boss too. I mean, who's, you know, the king. But I'm surprised the emperor didn't come out here. But anyway, the child, it says, when a sweet child smiles your way, innocence brings joy to fill your day. Friends are many, enemies are few. Listen to this. Embrace a fresh start in all that you do. Embrace that fresh start, baby. It's coming. Yes. Oh my God, I'm so happy for this. I need a fresh start. The tree, it says, one tree from earth is best to see. It, bring, it springs from birth, good health for thee. And if the tree should reappear close to the corn, your goal is near. Okay, your goal is near. Love it. Also, this is seven of cups. So it's like you have options. There might be some confusion, some clarity, but it's going to get cleared up like we were saying. One more, please. The lilies. Lilies are white, green leaves surround. The outlook is bright and passion will abound. Yes, baby, passion. I keep wanting to say the B word. I want to be like, yes, bitch. Like, I'm so sorry. But I'm not sorry. Let's keep going. Uh, the outlook is bright and passion will abound. When this card rests higher, it means good disposition. When this card rests lower, it's a dubious position. So it's like, yeah, there could be some dubiousness. Of course, there's always dubious shit going on, isn't there? You're at the bottom of the deck, crossroads. Also, this is Ace of Wands. Uh, not Ace of Wands. Ace of Swords again. So ace a lot of aces and this is ace of pentacles a crossroads you are at a crossroads of the two of wands being here it's a decision point you know which way are you going to go what are you going to do with this new opportunity are you going to take this opportunity are you going to turn that powerful music way up and get yourself pumped and go in there and own this meeting own this job and like push yourself and you know I think this, I keep coming back to the four of pentacles because I feel like this is about routine as well. I feel like this is a big level up, a big step into like maturity for some people or into a new phase of life with the Aeon being here. Yeah. Oh my God. Do you see this? The strength card again. This is the lust for life. This is riding the tiger. This is the will to fight rising up to the, to the challenge of our rivals and the star hope for the future. Okay. Um, yeah. Knight of Wands, big Knight of Wands energy here because we are pushing forward. The star, like you have, you're going to crystallize this idea into something tangible. And it's also important for you to clarify, to clean out your energy, to get very clean and clear, to crystallize your emotions and be very objective about this too. That's what the star card means to me. Also, Aquarius and Leo, axis of power. Think about it. But, um, all right. So the road, a road in the open reveals the best way. So the the way will be revealed to you. Choose wisely your path to avoid any dismay. So it's like, go towards what's truly aligned with the best and highest good of all involved, especially yourself The with the devil being here. It's like, yes, it is about being a little self-centered. And that's a good thing, actually. Selfish is not a bad word. Selfish is a good thing. Okay, so follow your dreams with faith and precision. All will be clear once you've made your decision. You're going to get clarity on all of this. I want to get a little bit of, um, what are these called? The Sibylla Oracle. Sibylla, please. A trap and success. Success and a trap. Three of swords and, um, what is this? Four, eight, ten of wands okay so um it's interesting because i have two hands here so and one card for each hand so for me i'm intuiting this i'm just gonna in, interpret this intuitively because that's how i feel so on the one hand you have the ability to unleash your creative potential and be very successful this guy's holding a red book so it's like maybe it has something to do with writing or reading something you learn in a book, something that you write down in a book. Maybe this is something in order to gain that sort of 
creative visualization. Write down your intentions by hand in a book, in, in a notebook. Keep a journal of all of your dreams and all of your ambitions and write it down very clearly what exactly you want to unleash your creative potential. That's one thing you can do. That's a, that's a practical step toward manifesting your new life. If that's what you want, a new life, you want the eye of the tiger, you want the will to survive, you want to rise up against your rivals, write that shit down in a book. Seriously, I know, but do it. Like, get a notebook. It's your own private thing, so it doesn't have to be, you know, good handwriting or good spelling or anything. It doesn't matter. It's the intent. So you write it down. Don't let anybody see it. Keep it in your underwear drawer or something. Like, but this is about success for you. And then on the other hand, there's a trap that three of swords that was underneath here success trap the trappings of success like because this is the card for success in my book okay six of pentacles there's there's financial success here it's about balance and recipro reciprocity but having more than enough to give back to those who gave to you but there's also the three of swords is here and here when there's the word trap here so it's like there could be a trap that you could fall into where maybe it takes you away from your success. And this guy is like looking out and somebody, yeah, it's like he laid a trap. He put the trap down for somebody. I don't like that. Don't, don't you dare. Oh my God. Let's get one more from the Sibylla Oracle. It may be just warning you that somebody might be trying to keep you stuck in a situation where you know, it'd be really easy for you to fall back into old past patterns that maybe you're thinking about past situations and stuff, but it's important for you to choose one. Do you choose your success or do you choose, choose to stay in this trap? Up to you. Fright. Oh, look at that death card. Isn't that spooky? Can you see that? I hope so. So there's a major transformation here and victory at the bottom of the deck. So this, this fright card is the death. He's holding the scythe. He's got... What is that? I don't know what he's got in his hand. Something weird. It, but it, you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of a um, hourglass with the sand and you turn it and the sand falls and then when it's done, it's over. So it's like, it's only a matter of time we all die, okay? Everybody's gonna die. <laughs> We're all gonna die. <laughs> so it's only a matter of time. So it's like, what do you wanna do with your time on earth? We only have a limited amount of time. Nobody knows the day. Nobody knows the hour. We all want to live until we're like old, right? 90. Who knows? I mean, maybe you don't, but like, I think most people want to have like a long full life, but maybe we don't always have that. Maybe that's not our fate. This is getting weird. I don't want to scare anybody. This is for entertainment purposes only, but like, think about it. Do you know how long you're going to live? Do you know if you're going to wake up tomorrow morning? Think about it philosophically. You know, I don't know the date and the time of my departure from this life. So I need to make the most of the situation while I'm here. I need to do what's right for me while I'm here. Also, this is the nine of swords. So there's some sort of fear of death, fear of running out of time, fear of not having enough time, not having enough. That anxiety is here that we were talking about before, that lack mentality from the five of pentacles. But look, victory is at the bottom of the deck. So this is also the death card. It's like major transformation. It's not literally physical death, but it is the ego death. It is the, the end, the very definite end. And it's important not to resist the end of the old thing so that the new thing can start. Okay, victory, it is one, two, it's the five of wands here, but it's like, look at this angel. This is success, this is victory again. So the transformation is going to lead you to great success. There may be some challenges, there may be some competition. It's not guaranteed to be easy. Nobody said it was gonna be easy, but it was gonna be worth it. That's what the cards are saying. Okay, we're still going. This has gone on for long enough. I need to, I'm getting some birth. Okay, birth of a child could be here. It's also Venus and Cancer. Birth of something new. The Empress is not here. Excitement, maybe you're excited about the birth of something new. It could be literally a child or just a new phase in your life. Mercury and Gemini, you could have Mercury and Gemini in your chart or Venus and Can Cancer in your chart. You could be dealing with somebody with these 
placements, but look, there's a tower in the background. The tower is already in ruins. It's super old, so this has already happened in the past. The clouds are clearing. This person is blowing a horn and, and drama. Oh boy, I love that Leo energy. Resourcefulness, sun and cancer. Mercury and Leo, sun and cancer. Okay, so there's a lot of cancer energy here. Mothering, sort of nurturing energy. The moon, the sun is here with Leo drama somebody is like going around maybe talking shit spreading a bunch of drama like look at this the lion is roaring in this card okay you know how a leo's can be there's clouds in the background but look the clouds are clearing up so whatever this person is saying whatever the horn like the horn here is blasting the clouds away okay the lion roaring in the cloud it looks like the clouds are getting blown away so it's like the dis this this disharmony the clouds are being dispelled okay the light is coming out the darkness is going away i don't know why the consult the consultant yeah that's you what do i three of cups so yeah there's something to look forward to i don't want to no i wasn't supposed to <coughs> excuse me okay it's important for you to be resourceful yes it's great to be excited and this is perhaps a very dramatic moment for you in your life because something new is being born but i'll let you decide how this resonates for you in any case i hope this helped i hope this was of help to you of service to you if you like this reading if you like this energy exchange some energy with me like share subscribe leave a comment let me know what's going on if you need a personals i could do that comment below should i be opening myself up to personal readings I could do like $25 for like a half an hour video. I think that would be fair. I could just go on and on like this forever. But honestly, Taurus, this is a great reading. You're going to kill it. You're going to make a killing with this new opportunity. I love it for you. And you know what? I'm a Taurus son, so I love it for me too. And you know what? I got to end the reading right here, right now. So peace out. I'll see you in the next one. I love you so much. Bye-bye.